Following closely on the heels of the loss of Charles Simic, news is coming that uh, Linda Paston has died. This poem seems the obvious choice to mark her passing. My Obituary by Linda Paston Will it merit a full column in the Post or the Times, or just a squib by a relative late for work? Will it mention awards I didn't win, poems that didn't quite scan? And how a student asked me once if to a daughter leaving home was my penance for driving a daughter away. It will surely say I was born in the Bronx, spending the first few weeks of my life in the hospital nursery, alone, which may account for my chronic melancholy, and why I keep blaming my surgeon father, who tried to do his best for me, but whose anger always mirrored mine. Some obituaries written years in advance are stored in the newspaper's basement vault, like vultures asleep in their nests, just waiting for death to catch up with life. Let any newspaper where my obituary appears be used to keep the floor clean under the dog's dish, and let my survived-by-children remember me, not by a list of ambiguous facts collected like so much mathematical data, but by my usual obsessions, rising bread and falling leaves. My Obituary by Linda Paston Godspeed Please use the links to assist the ongoing humanitarian efforts in Ukraine. Please give me a like, a share, subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you tomorrow.